When I was younger, somebody told me that shit comes and goes and streetwear fashion trends ain't no different, bro. So in this video, we're gonna talk about streetwear fashion trends that died either in 2022 or a couple years back, you feel me? And I decided to make this video for y'all going over them. If you do end up enjoying this one, leave a like on it down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new and would enjoy more of this type of content. Let me know what's one trend that you wish would die or is already dead and gone that you're glad passed. I don't wanna waste too much of your time so let's go ahead and get straight to it so i compiled a little list of shit that just came saw conquered and dipped out quick the first one being flared pants bro i don't know who came up with these skinny jeans maybe slim then at the bottom like some bell bottom head ass pants bro we had them in sweat pant form we had them in jeans i fuck around fell as a culprit of this shit and wore some at a certain point going out sad bro i don't know where this became a thing but I'm glad it's gone hey I just want to say that this is all my opinion so do not get butt hurt at the end of the day you could love these shits and I could hate them and that's all good not all of us should be agreeing on fashion trends this is just me bringing light to the conversation and hopefully y'all can comment letting me know if y'all fucking with the flared pants or not nah, bro for me this is a dub I'm glad it's gone and I hope it never comes back hey on to the next trend second up we got replica sneakers this is one that I kind of almost fell into. There was a couple different artists out here that made some notable replica sneakers, but everybody and their mama left and right started making Jordan ones. When that 2020 period started, everybody had time on their hands and we saw people come up with some decent shit. Then we saw some terrible shit like the Fugazi Jordan ones. They cool. There was like this Statue of Liberty Jordan one that almost looks like the Travs. Those were cool. But what really fucked it up was Warren Lotus. Once Nike saw that Warren Warren Lotus was doing pre-orders on dunks that weren't even dunks. They got a hold of it and they basically said, hold up, wait a minute, pause that shit. They canceled all that shit by doing patents on their design. So now it's a little more tricky when it comes to doing replica sneakers. And in my opinion, I think it's half good and half bad because some of these creators actually had some good ideas. Personally, I'm glad I never bought a replica pair because we don't need that, bro. I just need an official pair of whatever kicks I'm buying. Let me know if this is something y'all fell into the hype on or if you feel like Nike should be allowing some of these creators to come up with some shit, maybe get a little collab here and there. For me, I'm not tripping bro at least it was here for a little bit and now it's gone this next one might be another hot take and it's the fact that nike dunks are no longer what they used to be bro from 2020 to 2021 low-key still this year they've been dropping dunks by the bunches bro like these bitches drop every day bro like every week we got like three pairs of dunks still coming out and i feel like that's exactly what killed the nike dunk the fact that they oversaturated the market with these bitches low-key made it like i right, i don't want to pay resale for them i don't even know if i want these bitches like my girl been trying to get a pair of panda dunks for a minute and i keep telling her to just wait for a restock because it's guaranteed that next month and the month after that they're gonna restock again and even at that bro everybody and their moms uncles brothers sister mother got them shits on their feet so i'm good like i'm just gravy bro i got these undefeated dunks and i low-key wore them one time i got them a minute ago and i don't even know if i'm really fucking with them given this is like a louder color i don't know bro it was there now it wasn't i do feel like certain pairs like these off whites will still hold value but in the grand spectrum of things they're dead bro it's over you're not gonna see people paying crazy money for sneakers like this and that's actually another topic i want to cover maybe it's just me but i feel like not everybody is spending a thousand to two thousand dollars on sneakers anymore i don't know if it's because sneaker heads are growing up with more priorities or the the sneaker game is just a little dead bro or there's not any sneakers that people are like yo i gotta pay that fifteen hundred dollar price for like my head ass paid sixteen to seventeen hundred dollars for these and i don't feel like i would do it again if i could go back in time i probably wouldn't even do it because i haven't even worn them i don't know if paying a lot of money for sneakers is dead but i just thought i'd mention it in this video next up we got the v loan thugs v loan gangsters v loan born alone die alone soldiers you already know how that shit goes v on the back till i die type shit those people shit is dead bro it's over like just just stop like I said before, it was here, it came, did its thing for literally like three to four years. People still fucking with it. Hey, granted, bro, if you like it, you like it. At the end of the day, I'm wearing Supreme and it's another topic where Supreme is dead too. 
but V long gotta go, bro. Like, come on, how many times could you do a V on the back of a shirt and it be called the vibes? I feel like TikTok came through and it literally stomped them bitches out. Like, it's over for V long, bro. I think I had one V long tee in my history of streetwear and it was the Juice World tee. I low key wore that shit to the ground and I never bought another one. I feel like it's cool. At the end of the day, you do you, I do me. Just cause I'm saying it's dead don't mean don't do it. Hey, it's all good if y'all still following some of these trends because low key, I'm still doing it too, bro. Especially this next one. The Jordan one is dead, bro. Like they're low key sitting. Resell is damn near retail on most of the pairs that come out is a fact, bro. It's not even debatable at this point. Not many people are talking about them. I don't know if it's the colorways they've been coming out with, the fact that they've been dropping at least three Jordan ones a month or people are done with them. At the end of the day, this is one of the ones that I don't care if it's dead or not. I still love my Jordan 1s. I'm an advocate for Jordans, period. I've been into sneakers for a minute. Low key since East Bay was a thing where you could flip through the magazines and look at the Jordan you want. You call, like, yo, let me get that in that color this size. And they ship it to you or you got to go pick a bread. Like, yeah. So for me, everybody could sleep on Jordans. I'm still here. And that's what I was trying to tell y'all earlier. Jordan 1s are dead, though. We cannot deny it. It's a fact. And we just gotta live it through, bro. Deal with it and move on. Just like V Long, we got off white, bro. Off white is over. Like, it's over, bro. It's dead. Like, it's gone, bro. It's extinct. It's done for. I never thought it was cool to wear an X on your back. I low key used to want that yellow safety belt head ass. And I'm glad I never got it because I don't need that shit. It's low key overpriced and it's unnecessary, bro. These oversized ass pieces with a big ass X on the back. Nothing too special. Dead ass. Just just like v loan is in a casket, bro. We shipped it out and it's the fuck up out of here. It's dead, bro. If you still buying Off-White for retail, get your shit together, bro. I'm just fucking with you. But hey, if you still walking around with an X or a V on your back, it's over. Like, just stop, stop. That's low-key the same way I've been feeling about Supreme box logos. I still rock with Supreme. Obviously, y'all see the channel. But we cannot deny the fact that in 2016, 17, box logos were everything. Like, everything people wanted was inside that little box on a shirt. These days, I low-key like the Supreme that doesn't really scream Supreme, if that makes sense. Like, the box logo will always be iconic but it just doesn't hold as much value as it used to. Let me know if it's a hot take, but it's just my opinion, bro. I think it's dead. It is what it is. This next one is fucking nuts, bro. Skinny jeans with the biggest sneakers possible. So we talking about the jegging ass pants with like some triple S's at the bottom, bro. Rappers made this shit famous and we need to ship them all out on a boat, bro. Get them out of here. Like this shit is crazy, bro. I feel like in a couple occasions, I might've done it myself never the two pants don't get it twisted but like some skinnier pants with some bigger sneakers i've realized through time that that shit looks nuts bro like that shit look crazy i cannot let y'all go out like that like at least make sure that the pants aren't fucking suction cupped to your legs like bare minimum at least give it like a little room let it breathe like let it breathe you know you hot they be doing it in the middle of summer too son like yo go back in the house hop in the shower son and wear some fucking shorts or something like it's over it's just nothing much left to say these shits is dead and gone so dead and gone it's gonna be all right without them trust me you'll see the difference once your legs start breathing bro this last topic is one that i feel like will never really die out but it did definitely die down and it's the carhartt workwear vibe i feel like that was really prominent in the 2020 2021 even a little bit before these days it's a little bit more dead and gone bro we do appreciate what it's done to streetwear though honestly because double knee painter pants and the carhartt jackets opened up the realm for streetwear to be more creams olive tones and shit like that more baggier silhouettes baggier pants and for that we should always be grateful but to sit here and say that everybody's gonna go thrifting to try and find some carhartt these days it's kind of obsolete bro it's not gonna happen anymore i feel like it's a little bit more toned down and if you do like these style pieces you can find them from different brands that you'll probably gravitate to 
awards. Now, for being realistic, Carhartt saw a peak when streetwear became this whole workwear, double knee painter pants vibe. And it's undeniable, bro. At a certain point, I wanted some. I never got my hype beast ass to go ahead and buy them, but I definitely did want some. And I still do fuck with the workwear vibe. It's like an aesthetic that I am fucking with, but I don't see myself picking up anything Carhartt. I feel like it's dead and gone. It's over, bro. So I'm gonna let that shit lie right where it is and we gonna move on. But low key, that does it for the trends that I feel like are dead and gone or just died down a little bit. I'm pretty sure there's a bunch more we could go over. If y'all would like more videos like this, please leave a like down below to get this in the algorithm. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I do want to say thank you guys so much for 20k. It's been a long road and we finally made it here. There's so much more content on the way, so please stay tuned. If you see my videos on your homepage, click it because you might just enjoy it. But with all that being said, I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace, stay up, and I'm out.